So guess what? Somebody's mad at me. Do you guys remember a few days ago when I made that video about gay stereotypes? And um, I told you all about this gay YouTuber who made this comment in this video that kind of bothered me. Well, he did not like what I had to say. I just want to bring your attention to somebody who made a video response to me. His name is Little Bigger Chris. And I don't know how to do that whole fancy thing where you put your video into mine and whatnot. But you can listen, I think, to what he says. John, in one of your recent videos, you were basically saying you can be gay and dot, dot, dot. And you kind of filled it in. Like, you can be gay and still like sports. You can be gay and not be into fashion. And one of the things that you said was... Yes, you can be gay and talk like a man. There's this, like, bullshit notion going around that gay guys who are swishy or effeminate... Honestly, dude? Me? Me? Dude? What's up, dude? I think you did this for attention. I think you did this because you were bored, and I think you butchered my words. You, you think I'm... I'm trying to get attention. I think that you did not take into consideration any of my other videos that I've watched or any of the other videos I made. We've even emailed each other on YouTube before and I've told you how awesome it is that you know uh, you're doing what you're doing and maybe if I had started out my video response with that like you know praise you would have uh, taken my opinion a little bit more to heart instead of just disregarding me like I'm a hater and lumping me into this like category that you just you know dismiss. Another video that you did a while back it was called masculinity and femininity and I made a comment in there that said I totally agree with you John and I think it's important to remember that even if you're gay and you fit all the feminine stereotypes that that's okay too and you responded to that comment and you said yeah Totally, I can't believe I forgot that. You're totally right. Well, the video that I made was just reiterating that. Your video response to my video was called clearing up some bullshit or something like that. And I didn't really hear you clear anything up regarding what offended me. All I heard you say was that I'm a hater and that I'm bored and that I'm trying to get attention. Okay, all right, you got me. I, I certainly don't have enough attention on, of my own on YouTube, so it would make perfect sense that I would come after your 400 subscribers, you know, so that I could get a little bit of the spotlight. I think this is just boredom. I think you needed something to do, need something to say. I don't know why, but get over it, dude. You're, you're probably right. I should just get over it, you know? I think, actually, I think anybody who has a opinion different than yours, I think they should all just just get over it. You know, for instance, the uh, the other YouTuber who dared to question you um, kind of thought that maybe you might have some some issues, uh, maybe some self hatred or some internalized homophobia, and you know you you made it clear how you felt about that. You gonna tell a girl who doesn't like to hang out with other girls that she is not a feminist? Or are you going to tell a black person that if he doesn't want to hang out with black people that he's racist? It's stupid. You're stupid. I'm not homophobic. I'm gay, you retard. Ugh. You also made sure to mention your hilarious effeminate friends. I have great best friends of mine that are more feminine than the women I know. And I think they're hilarious. I love them. I'll do anything for them and we're great friends. I have nothing against it whatsoever. I know exactly what you mean. I also have some really effeminate friends who are like way more effeminate than, than women that I know and they are hilarious. I mean, they're like clowns, you know? Like it's just hysterical how unmanly they are. It's just, it's almost a joke. It's really, really hilarious. Um, I also have some really light-skinned friends who are whiter than most white people I know and and they're hilarious too I mean it's just a really comical trait it just pisses me off you piss me off I did not mean to make you feel threatened or attacked dude I really didn't like if you look at the end of my video I I actually told you that I wasn't trying to single you out that I was agreeing with you and um, trying to just add 
onto what you had to say. I don't know if you made it that far into what I had to say. You might have just shut it all down when you didn't hear praise right out of my mouth. I really didn't want to make a video about uh, about this, but you know what? If if I don't stick up for myself, then no one really is. And I learned that from my mom. So, mom, this is for you. I think that your channel is going to be awesome, and it's going to be huge, and I've sent all of my subscribers your way. Um, so, you know, good luck. I, I think it's probably best, though, if, you know, you don't share your opinion unless you're willing for people to question it. But that's just something that my mom taught me. Good luck on YouTube. Groovy! <laughs>